Hello and welcome to our video. Today we are in Scottsboro, Alabama, where we visit the Unclaimed Baggage Store. We had heard a lot about it and it did not disappoint. Hope you enjoy. And we show our haul at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Terry. I'm Melissa, and, and we are Nations Travels. Uh, tell them where we're at today. We are at Unclaimed Baggage in Scottsboro, Alabama where all the lost luggage comes. <laughs> We're gonna see what everybody has lost. <laughs> yeah, we heard about this place years ago and we always wanted to come over here and take a look. And today's the day. Look We're at all that luggage back there. Yeah, <laughs> on the back of the truck. We're gonna go in and check it out. Okay, and uh, we want y'all to join us. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> all over okay. the camera. It's okay, okay. no, that's a bad view. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a look and uh, hopefully uh, we'll find something we like in here. And we'll see you later. <laughs> hey, Nations, where are you at? I'm at Unclaimed Baggage uh, Center. Yeah! And, and where? Scottsboro, Alabama. Scottsboro, Alabama. You ready to go in and check out what they've got? Yeah, I've wanted to come here a long time, so I'm ready. All right. Uh, here's a shot of the sign out here, and they've got a really big parking lot. And it's a pretty good sized building over here. More of it in there. But uh, it's a good sized place. And I think there's actually a couple of different buildings. And they even have a museum over here. Everybody's taking pictures, maybe. Uh, I think they've had, got some unusual items over here. They've uh, made a museum. Out. When you first walk in the uh, doors, there's a little informational center over here that I think tells you a little bit about the unclaimed baggage and how it works. They even have a store directory when you first uh, walk into your lift that shows the uh, different departments. And there's a timeline on the wall about uh, when it first started in 1970 up until today. So let's go on in. It looks like a big department store in here. As you can see all the clothing, and I see there's actually a jewelry department over there. Lisa has found me a jacket. You can see it's all it's glittery. Is that or, or is that a shamrock? Is that a shamrock? I, I will look like a really tall leprechaun if I wear that probably. Let's see how much it is. How much is it? It's $29.99. I bet it's medium. Uh, I'm ready. I'm going to go see the boots. Huh? And unclaimed baggage. baggage, they do have a lot of luggage here. And you can hear Melissa exclaim, ooh. Look at this. <laughs> so, you could find me. Yeah. The luggage is, that's 90, that's not 299. Delts is a brand. Oh, those are Swiss. You can see they have a lot of books here and a lot of people who travel, especially on airplanes, uh, carry books with them. So you imagine a lot of them probably get to, uh, left behind they have enough books where they're broke up in the category here's history and biography christian fiction. i'm listening found the christian fiction section and then i guess the non-fiction is on the bottom down here this is christian yeah. i won't shut up that's me today folks <laughs> well, i don't think that means what i thought we do have a snack bar and coffee shop in here section here. These are all men's shoes. I would imagine the women's shoes would be over in the women's department. A wide selection of hats here. A lot of hats. Swimsuits. We're looking at the men's shoes. Some of them look like they're worn a uh, pretty good bit and some of them look almost new. So yeah, I think they're priced accordingly. I noticed this orange Hawaiian style shirt. It's $7.99. Here's a shirt that has hot dogs all over it. Let's see if I can find a price tag on it. Okay, I don't see a price tag on the hot dogs, but the Tommy Bahama is $26. That light green. They have a lot of belts here, and they're priced from about $7 to the highest one I saw was $20. They have a lot of watches over here at the jewelry department and there's a section over there that says $30.99 to $74.99. Okay, let's 
lot of rings. I have a lot of pocketbooks and handbags over here. This Kate Spade uh, purse is seventy dollars. Melissa well, found some Chip and Dale They're pants. So cute. They remind me of Sherbert. <laughs> yeah, and how much were they? Nine ninety nine. We got some of them like thirty bucks. Three, thirty bucks. Oh, they really win. That's why. Oh, really? Yeah. Here's some of the women's shoes over here. I see they even got some uh, boots, some dress shoes, just various types of shoes. This section over here is all women's uh, coats and jackets. And then a little further down, there's the sweaters. This Land's Inn jacket here is uh, $21.99. I see some North Face over there. The jacket's over on this side of the room, so you seem to be a little bit more colorful. Melissa is looking at the formal dresses now. I think she's hinting for me to take her someplace uh, special. There's some more women's dresses over here. Oh, you really have a lot of boggins and scarves over here on this rack. Oh, yeah. huh. Sorry, I like it. Melissa's looking at some uh, clothes for the grandkids. It's $12.99. That's not bad. Oh, look at that one. They're so cute. And now we are in the kids section back here. Um, I guess this is the girl's side over here. And of course, I have a kid's uh, shoe section back here, too. From all the way down to the smaller kids, it looks like. Over here is the boy's side of the uh, kid's clothes. And got a few toys around the wall, let's see. They have a museum in here that has some items that have came through. And here's Hongle from the movie Labyrinth. I see here's a, uh, a pretty large pirate ship. Got a lot of musical instruments in here. A violin that was dated to uh, around 1770. The doorway here is there's like a 10 foot long horn. I don't know how they managed to misplace this. And here's a suit of armor in this uh, display over here. A basketball that was signed by Michael Jordan. Some shrunken heads, believe it or not, which I would kind of think that would be illegal. And uh, also here's a stuffed rattlesnake down here. Barbie and Ken trading cards. And here's some silver spoons related to the 15th century. There's some pretty ma amazing stuff that they wound up uh, acquiring through uh, lost luggage. Yeah, Melissa found these uh, boggins, and most some of them are. Some of them are $3.99, some of them are $6.99, $7.99. This one is special. It's $55.99. <laughs> yeah, so if you're familiar better with better keep you warm. <laughs> yeah, if you're familiar with the Bogner name, I'm That's sure it's a, a high priced item. But you can you can find some good deals here and you can find some very high end items in here yeah, also. There's a Michael Kors around here. It's only twenty four ninety nine, but look how small. Uh yeah. Paper mache tinker bill they have hanging from the ceiling over here. This Michael Kors ladies uh, jacket for $31.99. Looks like it's in really good condition. It looks almost new. But you gotta be this wide. <laughs> yeah, it is a woman's small. Small and extra small. I got a section of uh, printed women's t-shirts here. Oh, that one's pretty. $6.99. Okay, that one's $6.99. Most of them we've seen are like $4.99 over here. Huh, what does it say? Let your face be taller than your figure. Well, that's good. That shirt was made for me. There are hats and scarves seem to be anywhere. 
I can't even I forgot what I was doing. That could be I did the house. That could be either one of us. <laughs> The reason I am old and wise is because God protected me when I was young and stupid. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of us could probably say that. Melissa <laughs> found a welcome to Las Vegas shirt and hat. So <laughs> I guess somebody lost people. that on the way That's back from her vacation. Yeah. And, and I didn't realize at the time, this whole wall over here is women's tees. Bathing suits. They sell their own, uh, I guess you'd say, uh, well, what would you call it? They sell their own merchandise here, uh, souvenir merchandise, I guess you'd say. Now, we came upstairs and we found the uh, men's printed t shirts and hats. Uh, yeah, we, we might have found a t-shirt for my youngest son. It's Tokyo Racing Club, though. And over on that side, you can see there are coats. Was it say Menlo? It's Fred Mello. Fred okay. Mello, USA. Yeah. Best server. I bet. Volkswagen buses yeah. are always it's cool. Nice, it How much like is it? It's seventeen ninety nine. Wow. This is five months now. I'm more than I expected. Because it's in it's New York City. Okay. I lose my hat. Somebody just texted me. Now they do have some upscale designer sunglasses at around a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars or so. I see musical instruments back there. Uh, these racks are all men's blue jeans and uh, they had dress slacks down next to to where the uh, suits were. This entire wall over here are mostly uh, long sleeve uh, t shirts or sweatshirts, it looks like. All along this wall, all the laptop uh, computers here, and they, I see the prices range from, not, from $100 to $700. And my understanding is that they go in and they wipe these clean so they're like new. They have some boogie boards and surfboards over here. I see a lot of bike helmets, golf clubs, and tennis rackets. There's some snorkeling gear right here. Along with some flippers. They have these tables here that just seem like a big mixture of uh, phone cases and maybe computer cases, camera cases. I see uh, chargers. Just a mixture in these uh, tables here. You have a whole wall of uh, head pumps over here. Little skateboards. These are all men's rain jackets over here. They have a lot of iPads here. These I'm looking at are $63. These iPad Pro 11 are going on up to uh, $300. They have a wall of headphones that I showed a minute ago. But here they have some in the counter, which are, I guess, more, a little bit more expensive. I guess a lot of people travel with hockey sticks, too, because there's a lot of hockey sticks here in this rack. Here are the men's uh, rigger coats, and uh, I see flannel shirts in here. And they have a lot of cell phones, and uh, like I said, they unlock them, and they wipe them clean. These phones have a price range of what I see around... Seventy-five dollars up to like four hundred dollars. There's a closer look at those watches that are thirty ninety-nine to seventy-four ninety-nine, and there's a lot of them. Looks like they have hundreds of less expensive watches that aren't in the case over there. All these men's slacks that I see here, they most of them range from about six dollars to twelve dollars. I know we looked at it when we first came in, but if you're looking for a sports coat, they really have a lot of them. Ties also, they're scattered around. Most of these coats, I looked at the prices, they range from about 29 up to like 109, I think's the highest one I saw. They have a lot of them. And, uh, Side, and I looked at some rings, there are some very pretty rings in 
and again I bring the, the price of very you know 50 bucks up so I've seen some over 1500 in there. Now I'm at the side of the main building over here. I just came out. But if you come out in the north parking lot, there's an area over here that's called the bargain basement. And it's this building right over here. And we're gonna go over and see what's in the bargain basement. Okay, as you can see, this building is a lot smaller, but everything, I guess, that didn't sell over there within a certain amount of time, they probably moved it over here. Yeah, as you can see, they still have a lot of pocketbooks in, in here, too. The scarves I see down there. We're looking at the coats over here now, and I see some dresses over there. It looks like some of these, uh, they're still in good condition, but may, may have been worn a little bit more than what was in the other building. I'm not sure that's the reason, but that's the appearance that maybe they have been used a little bit more. If you need a pair of white pants here with holes in them, they're $6.99. And I think these holes were intentional. What did they put in here? See, there are some more bargains this way. I think we can go downstairs. So we're going to head down there. Yeah, we got a ramp that you go down here, downstairs. We have men's belts here and uh, shoes. Uh, this pair of slippers here is $38.99. We've got some more hats over here, more printed t shirts, it looks like. Section of suit coats over here, and they extend all the way over to the other wall over here. Next section we've been into seems like it has a lot of pajamas and sleepwear in it. And when you get down to the bottom floor of this bargain basement, uh, it's just a hodgepodge of uh, uh, bins, and you don't know what you're gonna find out here. Doesn't look like a lot of uh, water bottles, thermos bottles, whatever you gonna call them. This hydro flow right here, it's $13.99. See a Dunkin' Donuts uh, mug there on top of that shelf. Yeah. Uh, and if you're a fan of uh, Pawn Stars, here's a Tell Me. Oh, my little doll. $3.99. Lisa found these uh, bags down here that look like souvenir bags. Like this one has a cut. Uh, where? Australia. Australia, yeah, obviously. People have lost their souvenirs and they have bagged them all together. Keychains, magnets, a mug, a koozie. Oh, that's sad. These people lose their uh, that's a long souvenirs. Way. That is a long way. I like these clips. See the yeah. Okay, she looked at the price and it was $5 on that bag from Australia. Yeah, we, we see all kinds of things here. Okay, she's found another one. It's Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> This is right at my alley because I'm just the kind of stuff I like. They got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I see a shot glass. Can That's a can opener. Rico. How much is that one? This one's probably $11.99. Okay, that was a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more of this. Still a lot of stuff. We have artwork back here. And here's a big bin of walking canes. I see. I'm surprised that they have uh, like medical aids in here, different kinds. I see some suntan lotion that somebody left, and there's just a big collection of things in this room. Got a stationary table here, but it's got a lot more here than stationary. But this big collection is three dollars. Oh, that's a heavy bag. It's three ninety nine for this bag, and it's got several notepads in it and things. There's a Barbie. There are all kinds of curling irons right back here. A few hair dryers. Every kind you can imagine just about. 
have this wall with bins over here. You just have to look over into it and see what they have in here. I see the heating pads in that one. Let's see down here. Some type of LED lamp and a curling iron. I uh, see men shampoo here and hairspray. Onion shampoo, I've never heard of that before. You know what? There's a bag here. I see soap in it and I see, uh, I see floss in it. A wig cap, they're just a mixture of all kinds of things in there and it's, uh, there's a bottle of something, but anyway, it's uh, priced at $15, so I just packed a bunch of stuff together there. you got there a little bit of everything, bit of everything really. we dug for that stuff yeah. <laughs> even got a bag to carry it from Safeway yeah. let's get a shot this is the wine you got sunglasses bargains what we'll show you. Yeah. we got too much to show I think clothes and then you have two more two, one three more rooms to go down into now, I thought I would get one more shot of the parking lot out here before we leave. We arrived this morning around 9 o'clock, and when we parked, we parked out here in the, uh, I guess you'd say, lower parking lot, and we parked a car, and the, there were no other cars around us. And now it's full, and this is a Saturday. It's probably about 12 o'clock now, so it does get very busy and uh, filled up over here, but it's been a very enjoyable experience. Hey guys, this is us the next day after we went to the baggage replay. When we got home, we went and spent time with our six grandkids. So we were not physically able to film this <laughs> when we got back, right? And then we had church this morning. So we wanted to show you some of the things that we got. Okay. Right? The first thing I picked up and thought, oh, well, I'm not going to show you, but I got a, a fabulous neck brace that I mean, because I've been having neck problems. It's black, nice. It was four ninety nine, and I've never been here, but I just I've been wanting a khaki hat, and I love it. So, it was six ninety nine, and there's no telling how much. It's brand new. There's no telling how much someone gave for that when they went to Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm sure it was more. What than did you get over there? Well, I got a cosmetic bag. We like this brand, or I do. Yes, life is good. It's brand new. It still has the tags on it. Somebody might have bought it new and put it in their luggage and, uh, yeah, and, it, and lost the luggage. But, but how much was it? $6.99. $6.99. And yeah. it's larger than the one that I use now. So. I see if it had a regular price, but it don't. But it's a travel kit. Yeah. And I'm going to somehow sterilize this. But they wash everything, they say. And uh, they sterilize it. But anyway, got me a cute bargain. And it was really cheap. It was $2.09. This was in the basement bargain. The bargain second basement. building. That, bargain basement. The second place we went in. But the colors, it'll go perfect with my dark green uh, jacket. Okay. And they, in the bargain basement <laughs> also, you they, have, they have bins of just stuff they piled up. And I came across this. That has some shipping tape in it, and it has a couple of notebooks. And duct tape, green duct tape. Yeah, and duct tape. <laughs> and, a uh, journal. Anyway, we thought, well, I buy this shipping tape all the time because oh, yeah. she ships things out. But how much was this? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Look at that nice journal. It's hardbound. Yeah. We got graph paper, cosmic. Uh, we got this compass. Compass. Composition book. book. And then this is nice. Yeah, and, and I give three ninety nine for the tape by itself on the box store. Our something. family loves Disney, so it, this came from the bargain thing. It's mini, and it's it's an oversized beach towel, brand new with the tags. It was two dollars and two cents. No, two oh nine. I don't know what the nine is. I guess that's how they know it's from the the bargain basement. But brand I got new, that brand new tag store. Brand new. I got a brand new shirt. Look at that. I got this from the first building. This came from someone's luggage. It's new. And it was $6.99. And it says, let your faith be taller than your fear. Bye-bye, anxiety. No more. <laughs> and I love pink flamingos. And we bought our daughter something because she's always borrowing ours. 
Yeah, I think this is actually may be a travel humidifier. Yeah, because it was in someone's suitcase. It was three dollars. Yeah, but it looks like it's in really good condition. I mean, it's not banged up or anything. So. And we have been to Puerto Rico a lot, and I love it. This is brand new. You still have the tags. I love my Puerto Rico. He bought me some red bands for Christmas. I don't wear red often. You'll probably see me in this with my red bands. And this was four ninety nine. And then my favorite, well, we got one more from the bargain thing. Then we'll show yeah, you my I'll favorite gift. Then. We oh, don't, yeah. we don't have a Safeway, but we have an SUV. And you know, when you put groceries back there, they roll around. So yeah. this little box thing, we'll we'll hold our groceries, little tote. Um, it's from Safeway. Like I said, we don't have it. It was the same yet. It's brand new though. Well, be some it, is. it was $3. So we put all our stuff in it. And my favorite gift of all, this came from the first big store when you walk in. I caught him over there by the jewelry. And I usually don't mm -hmm. want look because I'll dream. Oh, she put it in a box. Mm -hmm. And he bought me a suit. She said it was all silver. I really feel bad for the person that lost this in their luggage. I really do. But I will wear it with love. But he bought me a necklace with a pendant. Reminds me of a tree. I don't know why, but I have a tree pendant that's half of that, but it's beautiful and I can't wait to wear it. But thank you, Hibs. Yeah. And it was eighteen ninety nine. So Yeah, we didn't spend that much money over I think there. We spent about sixty bucks. Yeah. And we got a lot Is of stuff. Is this everything? Uh, except for your uh, neck uh Yeah, the big neck thing. Neck. It's, uh, it's nice. It comes around, it it closes up and it yeah, if I look stiff it's because my neck um, and it's high back. So when we travel, I have, I think I have YouTube neck <laughs> and social media neck because I look down and I'm editing all the time and it hurts. And I think I've done something to the muscles, but yeah, I don't usually sit this tall, but <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to share with y'all though, what we uh, picked up while we were over there. Yeah. If you're ever in the area or if you just want a good trip, that that's fun. That and you fun. will spend hours in there. We spent three hours. I mean, I tried on clothes. I tried on stuff that I can't afford that I couldn't afford in real life. Maybe could afford there, but I sure wasn't going to buy it without trying it on. They even had a Gucci, Gucci stuff, Chanel. They had, what was the name of those shoes? Jimmy Choo's. Yeah. I mean. I wouldn't remember that. Big old heels. I was looking for some Betsy Davis. No one lost that luggage because <laughs> she has the sparkly shoes. I would love to have some sequin tennis shoes. I know I'm old, but I would love it. Anyways, thanks for watching. And that was our haul there we could have bought more but we held back mm -hmm. didn't we but i like yeah. what we got we got a little bit of everything and i really like my t-shirts because i don't like spending a fortune on t-shirts and i really love my bargain might even try it on for no i don't want to try it on you yeah. so yeah, yeah i really like that t-shirt though the faith yeah t-shirt and i love my um beach towel my all my granddaughters love Minnie mouse so they can use you forever at the beach together <laughs> right that's right. Might use it as a blanket. Who knows? Anyways, have a good one, and we will see you in the next video where we walk the town of Scottsboro, Alabama. It's historic. It's pretty. And we also go into a little, was it 50s diner? Yeah. Called it's Paints, it's, yeah. Where we had really a nice. root beer float. So, it was fun. I loved it. We sat at the counter on the little stools. Loved it. It was good. You got anything I else to say? No, that's we'll it. We'll probably go back and take our... He wants to do a girls' trip, but he wants to be the chauffeur so he can go back again yeah, with fun. our uh, daughter and daughter-in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> so, you never know. What we'll find then, might do another video. Who knows? Might see that, get it through their eyes. So, have a good one. We'll see you. Let's live life together. What are you supposed to say? Uh, together. Uh, no. <laughs> he doesn't know what I say. Okay, you say let's live life. Let's live life. Together, it, wait, I say let's live life, and you say together, mm -hmm. and I say always, because I always, always. want to okay. live always. my life with you, it, but together, together is good too. Yeah, we're, we're trying. We love each other. We've been married forever, probably older than and some of you watching this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.